guest has survived triple negative breast cancer and is now appealing for local philanthropists, philanthropists to help save lives. She's supporting the launch of a new campaign, More Research, Less Cancer, done by Cancer Research UK. The campaign is aiming to raise £400 million for more research to beat the disease. And Vicky Howen joins me in the studio this morning. Good morning, Vicky. Good morning. Um, just tell us... Firstly, tell us about your story and why why this uh, campaign and raising all this money for research is, is so important to you. Well, um, so as you said before, I am a triple negative breast cancer survivor. Um, the main reason I got approached was we have a big uh, BRCA gene uh, mutation in our family and they were looking for people who had sort of benefited from the research that Cancer Research UK have done and um, I've always known I could be a carrier. Uh, I My mum's a carrier, several of my mum's um, cousins are carriers, like grandparents were carriers and it's now this sort of generation of me that are finding out that they're carriers or not. So I think there's about 10 or 12 of us at the moment who know we're carriers. So I got approached because as part of my treatment I received two drugs that were developed uh, researched and funded by Cancer Research UK. So if it wasn't for everything that all the research that went into the BRCA gene and finding out through my family and then these two drugs, my story could be completely different. Yeah, I, I, I mean, so, so, such a rare thing to, to kind of go through, but really amazing that we, we, we talk a lot about fundraising for Cancer Research UK. I mean, the Race for Life is obviously uh, a, a big fundraiser event in Guernsey every year. There's lots of other events that go on as well that people put on, and it's a popular charity for people to support. But um, it's really brilliant seeing the work that they do having an um, actual practical results. I mean, of, of course they have results, but it, you're, you're proof of that. Yeah, and I said I was really, really lucky with my diagnosis. It was a complete twist of fate. Um, I was actually going to get tested for the gene. I decided after I'd finished my family, I was going to get tested. Unfortunately, COVID came along and stopped me being able to go away and get tested. So the clinic over here agreed that I could join the screening program as if I was a carrier. Um, I then had an MRI. And on that very first MRI, they picked up something. Wow. So if it hadn't been for COVID and I hadn't have been part of this screening program with the BRCA um, research they'd done, it's I, my story could have had a completely different ending. Like, I don't know when I would have found this lump, how far gone would it have been. And so for that, I, I was never angry or sad I got cancer. I'm actually like really, really grateful for everything and I actually wouldn't I said, wouldn't be here if it wasn't, I think, for the research that went on back in the day to find out about this BRCA gene. Mm. So, yeah, I'm forever grateful and I want to support this because more people, the more research we can do, the more people we can help. Yeah, I, I, like you said, like, you know, if, even if it just helps a few people, that, that's a few people's lives changed which is which is massive yeah um and and, and clearly from from your experience it, it was a huge life-changing moment to find out that that you had a, a cancerous lump but but also um you've gone on this amazing journey since then to to where you are now um and and so now you're supporting the more research less cancer campaign tell us a bit more about this this campaign in particular so it's trying to raise 400 million pounds yeah, yeah a lot of money so the uh, there's a uh, numerous scientists and doctors have penned this letter to to the world, basically asking to for I can never say the word fl fl philanthropists, philanthropists. <laughs> to philanthropists. Um, yeah. to to help raise this money to be able to um to to undertake more research. Um, yeah, so, so so essentially, there's an appeal for people to get involved and and help push this along. Um, so so what what's the aim locally? How can we help locally? Well, our big thing. Um, so my best friend Danny sort of reignited the race for life a couple of years ago. Mm. So the big thing that we can do locally, um, unless anyone's got 400 million that they want to plug into Cancer Research UK, um, locally here we can do the Race for Life. That's the 19th of May this year. 19th of May, okay. Um, at the KG5. And um, it, you can run it, walk it, crawl it. There's 
accessible routes for wheelchairs and buggies. So if we can, as a, a, an island, help raise money that can go towards this campaign, it would just it would just be amazing. Like last year, we raised thirty thousand pounds. I'd love to raise that and more this year. That's an incredible amount of money. What what does it mean to you seeing um, islanders in the bailiwick raising so much money for such an important cause? Oh, it's amazing. I think I've always I've always done the race for life growing up. I've, I've never really thought about it too much, and it wasn't until I got cancer that I was like, oh, actually this really does mean something and it really, and having gone through it, it really does work. All the money that we're raising, it does actually go to research. I think people think it just goes to paying people, but no, it really goes to research. I'm just, I'm just evidence of it. Yeah. So, yeah. In- incredible. So uh, just lastly, is there a particular place we can find out information or anything about this? Is it just searching for Cancer Research UK on, on social media? Uh, on the campaign? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's uh, if you Google Cancer Research UK and they it's called I think was it more research less cancer or you can just Google more research less cancer. I did it this morning and found loads of stuff on it. So yeah. Excellent. Well, well, we'll make sure to, to look that up, Vicky. Thank you very much for your time no, thank this, you. this morning. That's uh, Vicky Hammond, a, a cancer survivor, talking about how more investments are needed into cancer research and how we can do that locally as well. Get involved with the race for life, but also uh, plenty of opportunities. You know, if you have got, uh, get a, maybe you are a philanthropist keen to get involved in something, then maybe this is the opportunity. Uh, It's just coming up to 8 o'clock.